Hey there survival horror fans, Nintendan here with another unboxing. Uh, I've been waiting for this one for a while and I'm pretty excited and been avoiding spoilers like crazy so let's just dive right into it. Uh, yeah. uh, been really really excited for this one and I've been saving a spot right behind me. So yeah, if you couldn't guess what it was by the background and my nerdy shirt, then, well, we'll be seeing in a few minutes. As soon as I can get all these boxes, cardboard, bleh. Well, they package this very well. That down for a minute. <sighs> yeah, I've gotten some bad packages from, well, I'm not gonna name any names, but I'm just glad it looks like it was taken care of. Okay. Trying to be careful, but I'm also like really excited. <laughs> Let me show you guys for a sec. The art right there. <clears throat> Our contents. Ooh, okay. Let's get to it. I actually wasn't that big on Resident Evil growing up. Um, my partner was actually the one that I got into it with when we met. Uh, yeah, I was a little chicken <laughs> growing up, so I, I stayed away from those games, but I really fell in love with the story, the lore, and all that, and just the characters, I think, is what did it for me, too. And Chris is actually my favorite Resident Evil character, so I'm glad this one came with a statue of him. I think that's why I've been more excited about this one. Ooh, pretty. Okay. So we got the game right here. Gonna be playing this one all day. Ooh, okay. This is awesome. Nice steel book. Yeah, it's really pretty. Feels nice too. Pretty cool art. Nice and simple, but effective. <clears throat> ah. I believe this is like cloth. For some reason, these special editions, they like doing these lately. I have a few of them. I never really know what to do with them, but this one I might destroy somewhere because it actually looks pretty cool. So we've got the map of the village right there, and it's upside down. <laughs> Pretty nice, but I think this side looks even better. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get those creases out and uh, maybe find a little spot for it on my wall. My walls are pretty full, but you know, I'll find something. Oh, okay, this is the art book. Yep, so we've got a nice art book here. It's actually pretty big. Usually the ones I've gotten in these collector's editions are pretty tiny. Well, not tiny, but like small. There's some art for you guys. I don't really want to look through the whole thing right now because I'm trying to avoid spoilers for this game, like the plague, so. 
<clears throat> I think it was the Uncharted 4 art book spoiled something really, like, pretty much at the end of the game for me. So I was like, oh, well, that's neat. Thanks, Naughty Dog. Uh, okay. Ooh, so I think I know what's in this bag. That's it for this box. <laughs> All right. So we got some art of Chris right there in the village logo. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just dive right into it. Everything being taped up. I always get nervous with these. Like, I know they usually package them really well. And I'm just like, oh, I think I would die or something if something came broken. Just like, in my room. This is the base. <clears throat> Got some nice lichen artwork there. It's a little lighter than I thought it would be. I know the, the I know the bases for the Resident Evil 2 or 3 collector's editions were kind of like a brick. Like if I threw it at you, you'd probably get a concussion or something. Like this thing is really light. And we've got the big boy here. Oh wow. This looks awesome. Let's see. Well <laughs> let me I'll get I'll get a closer look, but wow. Okay, so let's see if I can set him up here. Well, this is Chris Redfield. Looking all dapper and kind of... He's been through some stuff. <laughs> I think it shows more in this game. But yeah, I really like that they went back with his kind of Resident Evil 5 and 6 bulkier look. Because I was not feeling that Resident Evil 7 look for him. So glad they went back with this model. Okay. Uh... I am going to stick him on his base and I'll get you guys a closer look at this thing because it is, it is looking good. So just bear with me for a minute. And here's a closer look at the map. Uh, look, uh, once I got another look at it, it actually looks pretty cool. So I don't know, maybe I might do this side now uh, uh, or I'll switch it up or something. But yeah, it looks pretty good. He is all set up. Uh, it took a little finagling to get him on the stand, but yeah, there he is. Uh, let me get you a closer look. Look at the details on the hair and his face. Yeah, he's been through some stuff. He's not looking too happy, you know. <laughs> look at the detail on the coat, the shirt, just... Man, they did a really good job with this thing. 
Yeah, this pistol right there. She the pants. And look at the lichen embedded on the stand there. Got his name right there. Uh, it matches pretty well with the other ones in, from the past collector's editions. Uh, I'll make a little quick comparison to the other two I have, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Um, yeah. This thing looks really cool. Uh, yeah, let me show you guys a quick little look of where I'm going to set this bad boy up. And there we go. We got him right next to Jill from the Resident Evil 3 remake. And we've got Leon over here from the Resident Evil 2 remake. And yeah, see, they all kind of have the same nameplates, and the stands look pretty similar. Chris's definitely looks different because of the whole wolf embeddedment thing. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty to scale. Uh, overall, I'm just really happy with this, and uh, I'm just excited to start playing the game and find out what happens, and... Hopefully there's some connections to the older games there as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and be sure to give it a like and thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing another one of these videos really soon, hopefully. Um, not sure when my next shipment will arrive. It's gotten a little delayed, but yeah, I should have another video coming up really soon. So thanks again and and see you guys soon.